I went into Michael's. I had some cash vouchers from getting my yarn and I decided to get this cork board and I got it for about nine dollars I think with my with my vouchers so it was really good because the, the cork boards at Michael's can be rather expensive so I got a really big cork board and it's 23 by 35 as you can see in the corner and what I'm going to do is I have an idea for this since the year is coming to an end pretty quick I always make a kind of like a dream board, a vision board, where I want to put down things that I want to happen for me and my loved ones for the year, for the new year. So this year I'm going to do it a little different. And I've done this before and I really enjoy doing this. So I'm gonna split it down the middle and I'm gonna make it a vision slash goal board. And what I mean by that is you you set visions for what you want to have, what you want to do, what you want what you want to be, what you know, things that you want to have in life, things that you want to accomplish in life. And then you set your goals that will help you accomplish what your vision is. And that's kind of how I understand it and that's how I kind of do it. <laughs> and so I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to get my dreams down on something visual. I'm a very visual person. I like to see things. I'm a list maker. I've told you that, I think, a million and one times on my channel and on my on my blog. And I just love to see things on paper, on cork boards. <laughs> you know, I just, I'm very visual. So I think this will help me accomplish some of the things that I would like to do in life and have a great year, have a great upcoming year. So that is my plan for this cork board. Now, if you have any tips or ideas, or if you do a vision board slash goal board slash dream board, and I got this idea many, many years ago. Martha Stewart is who inspired me to do these boards. And so I always put her on here somewhere because she is one of my inspirations. I think she's an incredible lady and I love her. <laughs> and okay, so that is enough about my cork board. And I think I was telling you, I might have already showed this to you, but I got some white, red, and green yarn and I'm going to start making some Christmas. Um, I'm going to make some Christmas booties. And then I also got some, I, I know I showed you this, I got some red and some green cloth and I'm going to make one of those. Um, I'm going to make a red, green, and white wreath like I did my Halloween one. And I have to cut those into strips and get them all ready. But I'm going to make some booties. Um, it's coming fast. I cannot believe the holidays are coming so quickly. But I am so excited. It's just, it, the, the holidays are just such a lovely time. Okay. I've been up for quite a while and I can't remember the last time I shared my bed with you. So my bed is all made and my day has been going really well so far. So I put the garland across the top. It was hanging, but I think it looks neater this way. And some of you know I collect cows and on one of my first dates with my husband, he got me those cows over here, these ones. The big one is him and the little one is me. <laughs> so those sit there. And then there's another cow and then my little pictures. But my bed is made. I try and make it the first thing I do. It's like one of the first things I do when I wake up is I make my bed. And it just starts the day out right. And I know I haven't shown it for a while, maybe about two or three videos down. <laughs> but I thought I'd show it today. And I hope you all are having a great start to your day. And I am going to go on to something else. So every day is laundry day. So I am doing that right now. My dryer just finished. And it sounds like my washing machine is about to stop. Listen to the little tune it plays. It's super cute. It's got one minute left. Oh, here's it going to go.
Oh, it's gonna start a different. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? The dryer does it too when it ends. I just think that's so cute. I can't believe I caught it. Okay, so this is some of the laundry items I've used. I use. I use the um, my homemade Thieves laundry detergent, and then I have a stain remover, and then I need to make some more. And I just got some new. I just got a bottle of purification essential oil that I'm going to put in my laundry. My new. I'm going to make some new laundry detergent and it's super easy and I'm going to add um I usually add lavender and I just ordered some I got some purification and I'm going to put some purification in my laundry soap also so I'm going to make another full bottle in just a couple more loads and then I made this stain remover and I have my water and my vinegar in the back. And this is what the little bottle of laundry soap looks like. And it makes 64 loads of laundry. Six, 64, easy 64. I love this so much. And then down here, I have some scent boosters and then I have some regular little uh, clean and clear little laundry packets, little, um, for, for certain items. And then we go down here and I have some, I know I have some OxyClean and some, just the usual stuff. This is in a little impromptu laundry show, but I just love my, my lawn, my washer and dryer. They're really a beautiful set. Okay, on to the next. So I found these little bags and I put them on my cabinets in my kitchen. I put them kind of randomly and I changed out that wreath that I had, that big glorious green wreath with the flowers and the ribbon into a simple little fall wreath. And then there's another random bat there. And then there's some random bats on this one. <laughs> so, and then um, when I shut my front door, I will show you what the wreath looks like with the garland over it. Looks really pretty and I put a little random bats over there too. I did not make these though. And I said I was going to, but I did not. <laughs> so if you remember, I got these Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2023. And they are supposed to be forever roses and they look just as beautiful as they did in February. So how many months ago was that? Was that seven months? So February was two, we're in month 10. So, so I really can't do math, but so October 14th would be eight months, right? So I think they are so pretty. And then I have these from Ikea with the vases. And what I want to do is I want to put these out on my porch, but not right now because I have um, things for fall. And then it'll be Christmas where we'll have some Christmas stuff out there. I'm keeping it simple this year. It's going to be really simple. A lot of the years I go all out, but this year I just feel the need to be just simple. Simple and elegant and beautiful and meaningful. <laughs> Sorry about the washing machine. I always seem to start my washing machine when I'm about to pick up the camera. But I wanted to show you the garland that I have around my front door. And I put bats there. And then my door is open. So I will show you what it looks like when the door is shut, but I have the door open right now. So this is the garland over my front door with the little bats. And then on random places, I stuck more bats. <laughs> Little bit, just so you know, so you know that spooky time is coming.
I'm gonna show this to you because I'm not sure if I showed it to you already when I got it, but I got this at Michael's and I got it with uh, another one of my vouchers. Every time you go in there and you spend money, they like seem to stick like a $5 voucher. And every month I have like 10, $10 vouchers, $5 vouchers, and then the 40% coupon. So I got this pumpkin cake mold. And so I'm gonna make a cake with it. And I'm not gonna show it on this one, but I'll probably show it on the next one or in a short. And I have not forgotten about using my bamboo steamer and telling you all about it. I have not forgotten about that. And so my question is, what flavor cake would you make in this pumpkin cake? It's, it's large, it will feed book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count. I used to make a cake similar to this, and I need to dig out the the old recipe I got out of the magazine. And what I did was I would get a bundt cake, and I'd make two bundt cakes, and then make them into the shape of a pumpkin. <laughs> And I cut a banana in half and I used it for the stem. And then I used like fruit roll-ups to make the face and the leaves. It was real fun. But I saw this and it was kind of a blast from the past of the cakes I used to make. So I'm gonna make a pumpkin cake. And would you do pumpkin spice, vanilla, chocolate? Will you frost it? This one looks like they used powdered sugar. And I'm not sure. And then like put, they put frosting in the, in the center. Let me know if you've seen these at Michael's, if you have one, if you make a pumpkin cake, but I thought this would be really festive for October and November actually. So I have a little bit of time, but I really wanna make one soon so we can enjoy it. And then there was something else I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, I put a new um, table runner on my dining room table. I took the green one off and I put a white one on and I just think it, it brightens up the, the table so pretty. Let me show you. So this is the table runner, and I think it just looks so beautiful. When the holidays come around, particularly Christmas, this all kind of comes off because we do a lot of entertaining and a lot of people sit around the table. But while it is not getting used very much, I love to make it look really pretty. And I cannot say enough how much I love these flowers. These mean so much to me coming from my husband. And then I was trimming, I think I told you about this, I was trimming my rose bush and I accidentally cut this random flower that was there. And so I'm hoping to let it survive. <laughs> and then these are my Ikea pots with the little Ikea plants. And I put some mints on the table. I love mints. As you all know, fresh breath is key. And then these are some cloth napkins that look really pretty. And I'm making, I'm crocheting this little pink. It, I was thinking of a blanket, but then I was thinking maybe it could be like something for like over the table, like a, like a, what do you call it? Not a, not a tablecloth or a runner, but just kind of a decor, decor. Um, not a placemat either. Well, maybe a placemat for like under plants and stuff. It's real pretty. It's pink, and it'll go with the colors of my, of my dining room. So that is the update on the table runner. I thought it looked beautiful. And I had a butterfly that I had in one of my pots and I stuck it on the sunflower. <laughs> There's a story to things in my in here and I'm sure there are in your home too where people might see something and not understand the rhyme or reason of why you do something. But I know, I always try and tell, tell, teach my children that everybody has a story and some stories are so interesting. So this has gotten quite big since, or it has gotten bigger since the last time I showed it to you. I think it was just a little teeny tiny square. And I'm thinking this would be something nice to put on one of under my plants or I could put it in the center of my dining room table and like layer it and I think 
because I'm not sure how much farther I'm going to go around or what I want to do with it. It's just such a nice little pastime to pick this up and, and just work on it for a little bit because I've been I've been working on this one. I finished all the other crafts that I had started and I really should probably start on the little Christmas booties so and the Christmas wreath, but I've been enjoying doing this one. And I think with this, I will end this vlog and I will see you soon. I hope you all have such a nice and glorious day and until next time, bye. Thank you.